The other day I watched this video. It's got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. These guys at the University of Japan came up with a way to test the effect of a chip breaker on a piece of wood using a milling machine and a high resolution microscope. Now you can buy all that and you are in for some fun. They filmed a close up of the shaving curling off the blade under various conditions. Here's what they found out. If your blade is very sharp and you cut with a grain, you can get a great finish without a chip breaker, as long as you don't go too deep. You can even get a fairly good result against the grain, but it requires an extremely sharp blade and a microscopically thin shaving. If you add a standard chip breaker, it will greatly improve your against the grain cut, no surprise there. But the quality of that cut improves the closer you set the edge of the chip breaker to the blade. A tenth of a millimeter was the optimal setting, which is very hard to do by eye. Here's where it gets interesting. If you grind your chip breaker's leading edge to a steeper angle of 80 degrees, the opposite becomes true. Now the cut improves the farther you back it away from the edge of the blade. A little less than half a millimeter becomes the optimal setting, which is a lot easier to judge by eye. And your against the grain cuts are very smooth with even a thicker shaving. Now I'm not saying you should start grinding your chip breakers or that you should toss all the antique planes that don't have them, but it was an interesting video. And if you want to watch it for yourself, I'll put a link at stumpynubs.com.